Miho Hashizume, and I have been in the Cleveland Orchestra for 26 years. I am the supervisor for the Crescendo Violin Program. The Crescendo Program was an outgrowth of our neighborhood residency initiative, which began in 2013 in some of Cleveland's most underserved neighborhoods. Based on feedback from the neighborhoods, we decided to recalibrate our approach. So we went at it working much more collaboratively with the neighborhoods themselves to create programs that were community-based, community-led, community-centered, a true partnership. So we started the program in Slavic Village with the goal of enabling more kids to play music and also to give the kids in Slavic Village a chance to shine. Right now in our third year, we saw these children grow so much from second grader to fourth grader. It's a huge change and it's very exciting to watch them grow. The students who stayed with the program are very committed and very much in love with the music and violin playing. We've been in violin for three and a half years and it's been pretty awesome. Ever since the um, school ended, I was like, so where's my violin? Where's my violin? I want to do violin. I want to do violin. I want my school back. During the pandemic, the school went online and the violin program shifted to an app. But then when I checked on the app, I noticed that the not too many kids are using the app. That's when I started calling each family to find out what's going on. And I found out that the, they do have a lot of uh, internet issues. So that's when I started going to the outdoor lessons and outdoor classes. As a lifelong Clevelander, I'm passionate about our orchestra and our community. What has completely overwhelmed me in the past year, though, is how passionate our orchestra and musicians are about our community. And Miho is a wonderful example of that dedication. Miho's commitment to this program goes far beyond providing violin lessons. She will not give up on these students, no matter how formidable the challenges may be. When COVID closed the schools, Miho gave lessons in the parking lot. If kids couldn't get transportation to the school's parking lot, Miho went to their homes and stood in their driveway and gave lessons there. When the weather turned cold, Miho turned to FaceTime. She also held drive-through tunings in the school parking lot. So families would pull up in their car, children would stick their violins out the window for tunings. And because these events often coincided with holidays like Halloween or Christmas or Valentine's Day, there were goodie bags and gift cards and things that the families really appreciated. Slavic Village is just a few miles, but a world away from University Circle. What I'm trying to achieve is just understanding different cultures. Let them understand me and let me understand them. These children need creativity and individuality, which is sometimes ignored in that setting. And music brings the creativity. Music gives them voice, what they want to express. Kids can learn how to do it and then they can grow up and then keep on doing that. Yeah, they believe in us and I believe in myself too. Yeah, and I want to keep doing violin as long as I can. Same. My hope for the violin students now is seven years from now they will be in high school and then they will come back to Mount School to teach the elementary school children what they have learned. I hope music brings them something that helps sustain them through life's challenges and I hope they feel the genuine love and caring from musicians like Miho, who see them as the future. The Cleveland Orchestra is so lucky to have so many musicians who step up to serve the community each and every day, and especially this year. And we're so proud that Miho has been recognized with this Ford Musician Award for all her hard work. Mm -hmm.